let's play a game. Maybe more like a riddle. While he was talking about the COVID pandemic, who said this? When I say experts in air quotes, it sounds like I don't really trust the experts because I don't. Was it A, Donald Trump, B, Florida's Republican Governor Ron DeSantis, or C, New York's Democratic Governor Andrew Cuomo? Here's your answer. When I say experts in air quotes, uh, it sounds like I'm saying I don't really trust the experts because I don't, because I don't. That was New York Governor Andrew Cuomo, rather than taking responsibility for his own failures on COVID, and I'll come to those in a moment, casting doubt on scientists, on doctors, on epidemiologists, at a time when distrust in the experts, as he put it, has been costing American lives. It's no wonder that actual experts no longer want to work for him. So far, at least nine of Cuomo's top government health officials have resigned. Five people with direct experience inside the health department told the New York Times that the main issue was Governor Cuomo himself. The medical professionals who have left include the medical director for epidemiology, Dr. Elizabeth Dufort, and Dr. Jill Taylor, the head of the lab central to detecting variants. Both gone. He doesn't just go after experts, by the way. Governor Cuomo often goes after the press, too. And he can be often dismissive and patronizing at his news conferences. This is how he responded to one reporter who asked whether restaurant workers should have a higher vaccine priority. It's, uh, it's a cheap, uh, insincere discussion. And yet the very next day, under pressure, the governor let local governments decide if restaurant employees can be added to the list of essential workers eligible for the vaccine. Sorry, who's being cheap and insincere here? And yet, despite his grandstanding and often berating of reporters at news conferences, his performances overall actually earned him an Emmy. Yeah. An Emmy. He also wrote a book last year about how well he handled the COVID crisis, despite his state having the highest number of COVID deaths in America, and despite new data showing more than 12,000 deaths in New York's nursing homes. That nursing home debacle, as I've pointed out on this show before, didn't really feature in that book at all. Funny that. And yet we now know the number of people living in nursing homes who died from COVID is much higher. The New York Attorney General's office says that Cuomo's administration likely undercounted total nursing home deaths by as much as 50%. That's 12,000 people dead, not 8,000 as originally reported by Cuomo and the state. And when he was asked about that, he passed the buck. Take a listen. When I say the... Uh, State Department of Health, as the report said, uh, the State Department of Health followed federal guidance. So uh, if you think there was a mistake, then go talk to the federal government. Blame the feds, Cuomo says. Absolutely no accountability for the governor. We'll see what comes of the AG's probe into that massive undercount of deaths among a severely vulnerable population. Cuomo these days, though, is focused on the vaccine rollout. Here, too, though, he's ignored the experts. County officials across the state had a plan for a mass vaccine rollout that they'd been working on for years, only to have Cuomo come in at the last minute and insist on doing it his way. New York is now 28th in the country when it comes to COVID vaccinations. The governor's also gone with a weird, damned if they do, damned if they don't approach to vaccinations, where hospitals that don't distribute their vaccine stores quick enough pay a $100,000 fine, but if they dare give any of those vaccines, some of which are going to waste, to someone not on the state's eligibility list, well, they pay a million dollar fine. Hmm. The thing is, Cuomo's tough love, macho man shtick may be covering for what is an abysmal handling of a crisis by his administration, but it's working for him. In fact, at one point last year, just around the first peak of this crisis, some Democrats were even considering Cuomo as a possible replacement for now president, then candidate Joe Biden. Imagine, after overseeing one of the worst outbreaks at the beginning of the pandemic, being touted as a possible replacement for the guy who actually won the most votes in the primaries, and so far seems to have a pretty good grip on handling the pandemic. Let's be honest, if Andrew Cuomo were a Republican, there is no way he would be getting away with this stuff in the way that he has. 
But it's not our job as journalists to go easy on an elected official just because he's not an out and out far right COVID denier or dissembler. When a Democrat does a dismal job of handling a crisis like this, they need to be called out, not considered for a promotion or given a pass, let alone an Emmy or a book deal. New York, remember, has had more COVID deaths in absolute terms than anywhere in the country, more infections than anywhere in the country, and ranks in the bottom half of vaccination rates. Maybe Cuomo should write a book about all of that. Hi, I'm Mehdi Hassan. Thanks for checking out our channel on YouTube. You can see more of the Mehdi Hassan show by clicking on any of the videos on this screen and make sure you subscribe below to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. Thank you for watching.